I grew up in a family of car lovers. My grandfather, my father, and me. And we've always loved cars, particularly from the 1950s and 1960s. And that brings a, a short list of cars that uh, we've always talked about. Gullwings, Speedsters, and on that short list has always been the Lancia Spider America. Arguably one of the most beautiful cars from that era, a car that really embodies the Dolce Vita, the Italian style and flair of the 1950s. So when the time came, really think about a car that I could do some of the rallies around the world. Um, that sh on that short list was the Lancia, the Spider America. And I spent a couple years looking for the right one. And uh, when 1044 came along, uh, it was a vehicle that had a great ownership history, uh, had been restored to a high standard, and had a color combination that I think was really top notch. And uh, at any rate, uh, decided to, uh, to purchase that and have enjoyed it for the past several years, done two Colorado Grand vintage car rallies, shown it uh, at local events. Uh, in California and uh, have really enjoyed that vehicle and um, and have come to appreciate that it is one of the, the very sort of best of that era and um, I'm uh, excited to uh, to present this vehicle now. Um, Alec uh, has been uh, helping me to uh, take care of that car over the past several years um, and he he's uh, excitedly showing the, uh, the vehicle and, and giving it uh, a story that I think will really embody what this vehicle was all about and the era that it came from. So uh, I'm excited to present the Lancia Aurelia Sp Spider America and um, thank you everyone. As the earth spins around the sun, so do you and I, around our desires, around and around. In 1955, on a warm summer day, my husband Douglas, a soldier in the US Army, finally stopped spinning around his desires and made them come true. He came home on a leave from the Army to surprise me. That's me, his wife, Mary Ann. He had bought his dream car after having worked hard and saved for years. It was a Lancia Aurelia Spider America. It was the most beautiful car I had ever seen. As we all could see, the Italians sure knew how to make beautiful cars. Convertible, round headlights, curvaceous, a rumbling engine, but most perfectly of all, with the wind in our hair, off we went on a lovely countryside drive. Life was beautiful. we all took one brief moment to pause and reflect on the beauties that have been bestowed upon us in life, we all would have much happier lives. The scent of a beautiful woman in your arms, the innocence glowing from the eyes of a newborn child, the wonders of the natural world, the rumbling sound of an engineering masterpiece.
shifting through the gears of a car and feeling the wind in your face. The serenity of waking up in your own home. The aroma of a freshly made coffee. The beautiful voice of a singing human. The sunrises and sunsets. We take all these for granted. This all would wash away the cruel world we have surrounded ourselves with. I don't remember much about my father. I was only four years old when he was killed in the war. Everything I know is what my mother Mary Ann has told me about him. They loved one another very much. They met in England when he was stationed there. They fell in love and got married. She came back with him to America. One thing she always reminded me about him was his undying love for cars. Specifically one car, the Lancia Aurelia Spider America. They used to take on romantic drives around the country roads. But when he was alone, he would take it out on fast and spirited drives. He asked her that if anything was to ever happen to him, she would never sell the car and keep it forever, drive it in his spirit, and to one day give it to me. My mother kept her promise. She even taught me how to drive it. I am Jonathan, Douglas, and Mary Ann's son. And this is the beautiful 1955 Lancia Aurelia Spider America they gave me. Dear, lovely, classic car friends, enthusiasts, and car lovers all around the world. My name is Alec Cartillo, and I'm with Cartiology Films, a classic car and modern car private presenter. Six years ago, I stood in this very exact studio representing my very first 1994 BMW 850 CSI on putting a trailer auctions. And that was the road journey that began for me for another six years which has led me to where I'm standing here today. Super, super proud. July 6th, 
was the first day of that auction. It was super exciting for me. I was beyond joyous because I had started on journey to be combining my passion of cars and films and making world-class presentation for you guys with honest good cars and honest good presentations. Today as I stand in front of you this is our first million dollar plus vehicle presentation and to that I say super special thank you to my dear friend Mr. Tony Owen who has allowed me to be able to be the agent of this car who is a dear good friend of mine and whose many cars I have maintained and as well as sold over the years as well as thank you to all my crew friends filmmaking friends who have been with me over the years and they've seen this journey all together namely one of them is standing behind the camera right now mr david leeper from new zealand 70 years of history there's no way on earth i can fit all of that into one little setting like this i have my cheat sheet and i'm standing next to an incredible vehicle, a 1955 Lancia Aurelia B24S Spider America. One of only 240 cars made in a single year of production by Lancia. And mind you, my own personal first car in 1994 was as well a Lancia, but it was a Lancia Prisma, not the same as this. And it is pronounced Lancia, not Lancia, like uh, many do because Italian is pronounced Lancia. This is one of only 181 left-hand drive cars which were produced that year of which seven cars were actually drowned with the ship that was carrying them so that makes it even more rare. This car has been around the world without a single doubt. Lancia was the first company to develop the first V6 engine. This car has a 110 horsepower and a four speed manual transmission. Um, when I tell you I was super impressed and fell in love with this car when Tony asked me the first time to uh, drive this car and as I maintain it, enjoy it, I was expecting it to be difficult and rough to drive and as you would expect with any 50s cars, but it was not in any shape or form like that. It's very light, limbo, nimble, it's very fast, and it's, it handles well, it corners well, and once you get used to uh, being behind the wheel, getting the feel of the controls, how the sh manual shifter works, and how, uh, how early or late you have to brake, and how to properly control the car, it becomes a super, super joyous car. It's completely mechanical. There's nothing electric in there, except for, of course, the headlights and uh, the fuel pump. But anything else, everything is fully visceral. And anywhere I go, of course, you either get pictures taken of, you get people uh, thumb, thumb up. Anywhere you go, they stop to ask you about it, questions, and what have you. This car has had some amazing, prominent owners over the years. All the way from day one in Italy, to England, United States, and many other countries. It was restored in the 90s by a prominent uh, Italian restorer, and then it was purchased by a very prominent classic car collector, who's also a dear friend of mine, Mr. Bruce Melner it came back to the United States. Even though these cars were originally made for the American market, it was here, owned 32 years by a lovely lady named Eunice, Eunice Griffith. It went back overseas again, and then came back to Mr. Milner, and then the prominent uh, classic car presenter, Mr. Simon Kitston, had this car in his possession at some point. And then it was owned by my dear friend, Tony and now I'm standing here with you uh, representing it. So I feel very honored and privileged to be able to uh, stand here with this amazing, incredible car. <clears throat> 70 years of rich history as mentioned. Chassis B24S 1044. This is chassis 1044 out of the 180 left-hand drive cars, 240 total 
the others were right hand drive cars. It was born or built on May 27th, 1955. Originally, it came in gray, which is Grigio, and with red inside, Pelerosa. And um, some of the other numbers on this car are 0045, differential 240, suspension 49, and uh, Scatolia Guida 240, and Skoka, Skocha 0045. I mean, chassis 0045, I guess, or 1044. If you would like to uh, go around with me with this car, even though it was restored in the 90s, the paint is still in incredible shape. The engine bay is in incredible shape. I'll walk around. Naturally, it has had been used over the years. There are some minor scratches and flaws and what have you. The interior is in excellent condition. Gas tank. As I walk around the car, I really don't see any major flaws. And this car comes with uh, one of the very rare and unique low roof hard tops, which we have with the car and I have photographed it. This is one of the really cool, unique features of this car. There's no lock on the trunk. It just stays there on its own. And uh, even in 1955, they knew how to design things. So the wind force keeps this down. And then it comes up and just very gently locks up. Amazing. The design by Pininfarina is something out of this world. It's just absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. Here we have the beautiful arches of the kink. There's a uh, drain hole, I think, here, and there's a very little minor um, dent or bending right there on that area. There's a uh, these are the latches for the soft top and the hard top. Um, originally it was gray and red, but now it's light blue on, on dark blue. Windshields has no scratches. And again, there's that amazing design they have over there. Nardi Weber's very special for this car chassis number 1044 matching engine simple and beautiful v6 again there's the chassis number One hundred and ten horsepower. Aluminium V six two point four two thousand four hundred fifty two cc's. Some of the really amazing things about this car is that it was displayed at Concourse the Elegance in Pebble Beach in two thousand five. Also, this car is eligible for Mila Milia. Colorado Grand and some other really nice prominent racing events. So Anthony Owen took it to Colorado Grand two years in a row, 2022 and 2023. We have the Barani wheels, Michelin tires. Over time, historically in the past 10, 15 years, some of these cars have sold upwards of $2 million, depending on provenance, um, combination, originality, and what have you. Naturally, it's a true mileage unknown car, 9,620 some odd kilometers as it is. As we see, the car starts on a dime, and Anthony spent nearly about 70,000 dollars in refreshments and redos and making sure the car is tip top because he wanted to go to the Colorado, Colorado Grand for two years. It was of course manufactured in 1955 
for the American market and it came in through New York through the company Hoffman Motor Cars and it's believed to have been uh, sold to a New York uh, collector Victor Ricci in New York and he sold it off by the summer of 1963 to Miss Eunice Griffith whom continued to own it for 32 years then after that it was sold to a, uh, a well-known jeweler in uh, Mr. Bertole in Italy and he had it for a number of years where he uh, had the car fully restored at a grand price of $108,000 in the 90s, which in today's uh, money could be three, four hundred thousand. Later on, sold to Mr. Bruce Milner, and then the car came to the United States, spent about 14 years with him, handed off to Mr. Simon Kidston, Anthony Owen, and I are here with this car. Anthony has uh, put about two and a half, three thousand 3,000 kilometers on it, two Colorado Grands, and I personally have put several hundred kilometers, maybe close to 1,000 kilometers in the past two, three years together with Tony because I maintain these cars for him. I take care of them, I take them to the shop, I drive them, and of course now with the presentation and the film we make. I couldn't be more proud of our amazing team and more so, I'm really, really honored to be presenting this for Tony, as well as having been named with a car that has had some of the most prominent classic car presenters in the world go through their hands. Sometimes when I look at some of the photos of the, where this car has been around the world, I get goosebumps thinking, wow, it's been in so many places, seen so many people, done so many things, and here I'm standing with it, and it's still here, it's a great survivor, and I get to drive it, enjoy it, present it, and send it off to the next classic car custodian. My name is Alec Cartillo with Cardiology Films, and I present to you this 1955 Lancia Aurelia B24S Spider America.